Good morning. Go live. Good morning. Are we ready to start? Is it working? Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Good to have your company. Early, early doors, always best to be early. Lovely sunny day here in Crowborough in the southeast of England. What about where you are? Is it nicer today? Mm. Nice sunny day, nice day for sitting in the garden and colouring in, isn't it? Find a shady spot, safe, happy and creative and all that. Come on in, I can see life. How are you? I don't know, I'm gonna to have to go to the opticians when I feel brave enough to go out of the house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my eyes checked. Cause I think there's somewhere between that and that. <laughs> that one is a waste of time. And this one makes you feel high. <laughs> me day made me. Come on in, good morning. I can just see Beryl Shepherd over in the corner. Come on in. Lovely Beryl. Good to have your company and Hilda. Actually, my eyes are it's better without the glasses. Sue, Hilda, J Julia, Beryl. Wow, there you go. It's a miracle. I can see. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, do you know what it is? I think I'll move the telly closer. <laughs> I'm looking at screens, you see, and a little monkey sitting on a camera up here to remind me to look at you and not at the big screen. I've got screens and screens. And this one I moved forward because we've been getting ready for telly, TV prep. So I shuffled it around to make more space. <laughs> now I can read it. I only took 14 weeks to figure that out. <laughs> sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. Come on in. Welcome to Hawaii. Aloha. Yes, we've been here nearly two weeks now. Well, you can't go all that way and not want to stay a little bit longer. Hmm? It's a very long flight. I would love to be in Hawaii right now. Mm. Yeah, I would. Maui. Lahaina. I was a little bit concerned listening to the news at five o'clock this morning that the, um, the outbreak in... In California, it's just gone berserk, hasn't it? Not good. Not good. They thought they got away with it because they locked down so early, didn't they? My Mark, our Mark, our son, he's in, uh, he's in San Francisco. And I think they thought they got away with it because um, they locked down much earlier than us. Having said that, though, I think the biggest problems are down in Southern California more than in Northern California, so... Still terrible though, wherever it is, it's just shocking really. But it makes you think, doesn't it? It makes you think, well, hang on a minute. Do I want to go to Ikea? Do I want to go to the beach? Do I want to go, Primark's the one where they queued up, isn't it? Do we, no, I don't think so. Do I want to go to the pub? Well, I never went to the pub to start with. I, there's a, there's a, at the cross here, the Crowborough Cross, there's a, a Weatherspoons been there years year, years I've never been in there so why would I go now <laughs> oh, I don't think so <laughs> nine 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 come on in take a seat bring your tea bring your coffee we's a doodling we's a coloring we's in Hawaii I actually I came in to catch up because I was looking at all your lovely work all your beautiful artwork on clarity worldwide and you're ahead of me, you're miles ahead of me. And I thought, I really better get my act together here. So this morning I came in here and I caught up. I caught up to with, with where, where I should have been. And, uh, and it does work, doesn't it? It's so therapeutic. When you accept that that's what you're doing and you get in that colouring zone, you know, that arty switch off, accept that you can't do anything else while you're doing that zone. God, it really works. So I'm well chilled now. I'm chilled. Chilled and happy. How about you? How are you? Calming down a bit now. Settling down again. 
we need we need kind of I wanted to say rules. We do need rules. We need but we need sort of parameters, don't we? We need limits. And when and when the lid was taken off last week and I think it threw a lot of us. It certainly did me. I can only speak for myself. And so we've had to re-establish our own limitations and our own set of rules, haven't we? I have anyway. And once I've done that, and once I know, right, there you go, that far and no further, not allowed to cross that line. And now I know where I stand and I find I'm much more relaxed, much more relaxed this week. So strange. I think, you know, the government thinks it's doing us a favour, but just for a while there, with all the mixed messages and the conflicting news, you know, go shopping, it's gone berserk in California. Um, go shopping, go out, help the economy, um, less, but except all you in Leicester. You know, you think, well, hang on a minute. In a minute, Bournemouth will be Leicester. And then a minute after that, Brighton will be Leicester. So, you know, they've called it the whack-a-mole, haven't they? Where they, a mole pops up, like a, the virus pops up or, or spikes in a certain part of the country. And then like the, the mole comes up at the ground and they whack the mole. Not the best descriptive <laughs> analogy I could have come up with. But yeah, so this is the whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole uh, system where they just stomp on a poor little mole. What, what did the mole ever do to deserve being whacked? Whack a mole. Now I've heard it all. Anyway, Steve's in the building with you. Which glasses? Eeny, meeny, miny, miny. It's 10.02 already. She's been waffling again. I promise not to waffle as much as yesterday. Come on in. Grab a seat. Get your tea. Get your coffee. We're going to do loads of colouring in today. We, we've only got, we've got to leave tomorrow. We can't stay another week. Okay. <laughs> So we've got to polish this off. We've got to bring it to a, a close. Right, you ready? Let's have a look. This is where we're at. So I've done, let's have a look. I've done my border, except for the third one, although I'm ahead of you on that one. So I'll show you what I'd like us to do there. Uh, did a bit of the ocean, caught up with my other flower. And I tested a few things, so I know that doesn't that look good? It looks as if it's you could lift it off the page, doesn't it? So let's do that today. And I want to do the palm tree. Doesn't that look good? So we're going to do the palm trees as well. So it's got that retro feel. When you start to narrow it down, you see, if you just look at the bits that we've done, it looks very, very vintagey, doesn't it? It's the white that clashes with the vintage. So when you tone it down straight away, it will start to look aged. So let's start, shall we? And I was thinking the first thing we do is start where we left off, which was with the oceans. That's where we were. And if you recall, I, I was making a combination, wasn't I, of two colours. I was using a blue and a turquoise. And in this lovely set of pergoliners, you've got a blue, you've got a blue... And you've, you haven't got a turquoise, but you've got yellows and you've also got uh, that green there. And then you've got a darker, you've got darker blues, haven't you? I would go with that. That, that. And s put a little bit of green in. That'll give you a nice turquoise. These are blending pens. They work too. I've had a right little moment of clarity this morning i'll tell you about it in a minute i was well chuffed i thought God, why? now that only took a year to figure out as well so we're going to put a let's let's do this the, the oceans and then let's do the palm trees then we'll go to the hut so it's because the hut roof is made with palm trees and then we'll go to the grass skirt so we're going to be hopping around we're going to be island hopping today. We're going from that to that and that and that and that. Round we go, okay? And we're going to build this lovely masterpiece. Because it is, you know. It really is coming together beautifully. Let's do, the, let's do the water. Now, what we have to remember is, if you've got a big sun, I already, to give you an example, where the, 
where the, the sunlight hits the water. See, it's just a bit lighter. So all you've got to do is just avoid that area, really. Just avoid that area with... So I've put a little bit of blue down, the light blue. You ready to start? I know, I'm hustling now. But I looked at the, I looked at the calendar and I thought, we really need to be getting back to England, people. Right. So, little layer of blue. Light blue. I've got some more good news as well, but I'll tell you that in a minute too. Let's get going. Right, put that one down. Now we've got the turquoise, what we got there? Okay, so just in case you've just joined us, light fallow blue and then cobalt green. So that's number 145 and 156. These are the polychromos. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so now you're gonna go over the top and what we're going to do is we're going to do like where the now this is where the sunlight's going to hit the water. So perhaps we'll go a bit easy there and we'll just flick in like that. Look, Just flick in and leave that area. We can always pull in a little bit of the pigment with a with a colouring pencil, can't we? With a blending pencil. Sorry. Right, here we go. Yeah. I've had a, uh, this morning while I was colouring in, I had two little brain waves. So the first one, I thought, because I keep going to the same pencil, seriously going to the same pencil all the time. Shall I come in a bit tighter? Let's see. Let's just hold that there. Let me just get up on my little perch and sort out that upper. Is the sound all right? Can someone, oh, Steve, you're in the building, aren't you? Morning, Steve. Sorry, a bit disjointed. Too chilled. Right, there you go. Steve Ellen's in the building with you this morning, so if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask him. And um, there you go, that's better. See what we're doing now. And poor old Dave. Don't know what's wrong with Dave. He's, a, he's, he's not well. He's done something... Yesterday he woke up and his foot... It's like it's broken, but it's not. So God knows what's what's happened there. Um, so he's hobbling around indoors. Uh, he went to work yesterday, which didn't help. Um, yeah, so so I've got a poorly hubby at the moment. Well, you know the thing is because David he gets terrible arthritis, and so we just thought maybe it was that. And so he went for acupuncture yesterday because that helps him a lot. Does anybody else swear by acupuncture? Dave does. So he went to, to his acupuncturist yesterday. and um, But it hasn't helped. So maybe it's something more serious than that. So at the moment he's sitting at home with his foot up feeling sorry for himself but it's okay it's all right it won't be it won't be anything too serious it's just i don't know it needs to be looked at if you're watching dave you ought to ring the doctor he said i'll ring him tomorrow i said that's a good idea friday's always a good day to ring the doctor just before the weekend <laughs> <laughs> right there you go so we're just adding let's put a little bit of that turquoise see very very lightly aren't we just very lightly this is quite light this one so it's darker in the back so what I do is you see let's take a piece of copy paper so you can so you can see what I'm up to Take a piece of copy paper and then what I'll do is I'll make a, a flat side. You know the chisel side? And then that gives me a sharper side on the other side. So then I can get in better. And then when I want to get real tight, I just flip the pencil. There we go. And then I can make it darker. So it's all about the layers, isn't it? Layers, layers, layers. Right, here we go. How are you doing? All right. I'm not going too fast, am I? I bet most of you have already done this. 
the the colour of the water. Well, especially, actually, it was even more so. Not so much in Maui, funnily enough. It was more on the North Beach in Oahu. Um, the colour of the water, I'll never forget the first time we went years ago when, you know, before Mark was even born. And um, and I remember it was it just stayed with me because you see postcards and you and you see that that color, that 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 turquoise, that azure blue, that beautiful. And you think, yeah, in your dreams, these photos have been touched up. You know, the water is never that color. Not if you live, you know, the only water around, you know, the Mediterranean or the English Channel don't really, you know, <laughs> if you're used to the English Channel, then you don't expect to see this beautiful light turquoise water and white sands, which is exactly what it was. And I remember when the first morning when we went to the beach, we came out of our little chalet and we walked onto the beach. I could not, I will never forget the colour of that water. And I've never seen it anywhere else quite like that. Never seen any anywhere else. Quite astounding. Yeah, and maybe it was the way the sun was hitting the water that morning. Uh, who knows? Maybe it was my sunglasses. Right. So we're just building up that lovely colour. Yeah. Nice, huh? Got a little boat. Now, this is interesting. If I let me take and let me take the blue again, the light blue, and I'm just going to come in over the top now, just sharp, sharp side, right? And I'm just going to add a little bit of depth across that, because the truth is, when you look into the depth, the depth, the distance, it is darker. It is. It's not. Yeah, here we go. Just add a little bit of that depth. There. See how you get... It's interesting how you can really get that that sense of distance. See, you look at any three of these pictures now and you'll see it looks as if it's further away, doesn't it? Right, now, so what I was doing this morning... This is great. I, was like, I can't wait to tell you this. When we use our blending tools... get my. Let me get my nib. Let me get a nib, right? So I've got loads of them. Right, let me show you this. So we take our nib. There we go. Nice clean one again. Always reach for the clean ones, don't we? Even though we've used the blue one. There's a blue one. Look. Now, here's the thing. So when you use a nib, let's say like that, if I want to get into the real tight areas like this, really, I want to use a new nib. Oh, hang on. A new nib. You see? Like this. I do. And so they, they're good, but sometimes when you, like to go over the top of this, you know, then I spoil the nib. The nib just gets soft and it loses its, its hardness. And then I thought, so I was looking in my little pot today, and I thought, well, what's wrong with the other end? It's the same material, and I know it won't sit in the, the it won't go in there, right? Forget that. Who cares? Like, if I don't want to waste, this is what I'm trying to say, if I can use this end for the detail, perfect. But then when I want to blend the whole area, forget the handle, just take the other end because it's really hard and it's it's brilliant, right? Just hold it and then just get it comfortable in your hand. Right, here we go. And then you can use both ends, look. So it's, once you get a hand of You'll see, try it, and you'll you'll go, wow, okay. It makes such a difference. Because, and maybe some of you have already worked this out, that you can use this, the, the, the other end. But look how it smooths it out. And because it's harder, because it's, it's obviously been cut, right? But you'll see, one, we're not wasting the end that we, we don't see. Because you can still use it, look, you can still put it in the pen. It doesn't hurt it to the point where you can't put it in the pen but it means that you're making use of that end result right so now here for example where this bit is I can come in now look 
and I just get that lovely, just bring that pigment through like that. Brilliant. And we're getting a tufa. So suddenly, this is the best bit, right? Where's that pot? Suddenly, all these nibs are like new again because they've all got the other end. I've gone through all that lot and now I can go all down the other end. Yes. So I hope you didn't throw them away. I hope you didn't throw them away. For the tight areas, this is definitely the way forward. But for the, for the big expansive areas like this, it's brilliant, look. There you go. Happy days, eh? Isn't that good? It certainly works. They're not hard to hold. There you go. Just makes it handy. There you go. Yes, happy with that. So, top tip. I bet I'm the only one that hasn't worked that out yet. I bet everybody else is like, yeah, well, duh. <laughs> All right. Clever clogs. So that's that idea. And, and the thing is, once you've done that, then, of course, you can still go in. You haven't burnished it to the point of oblivion where you can't go back in and add more colour. So that's it. We've done our lovely waters now, haven't we? Nice. So the next thing I want to do is the palm trees. Catching up, catching up. There you go. That was a good tip, wasn't it? Everybody happy? You'd love Hawaii. If you haven't been there, you'd love it. It's got a vibe as well. Because it's so warm and tropical, you just can't move that fast. You can't. You have to. You have to have it. It's that sort of Spanish manana. You know, because it's just warm and and shvetty. And so you move slowly. You just move more slowly. And, yeah, you don't run around like we Europeans do. Well, we English, you know. Because you just, you can't. <laughs> it's too hot. And there's something very nice about that kind of, you know, early morning, you get up early and then you walk along the beach and you just hear the ocean lapping on the sand, you know. And, and there's nobody around. There's nobody around. There might be a couple of surfers catching a really early wave, you know. But in the main, mm -mm, it's just people walking their dogs, soaking up the atmosphere, being spiritual. Very spiritual place. Yeah, it does. It, it puts you in touch with... Mother Earth, really, you know, the sand and the, the, the sky and the water. Brilliant. And, yeah, it, you know, Oahu, it's really touristy and it's built up. It's, it's like Dubai, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just high rises and big posh hotels and, yeah, it's not, but it's not Hawaii. It's, it's, not, it's not really what it should be, you know? So if you do go there, go off the beaten track. Go to a go to a smaller hotel. Go to a smaller island. Go go away from Honolulu. You know you can you can island hop. You can. You they do that. But it's just uh, just a formidable place, really, a formidable place. Right, come on. Now we're there. We might as well do the palm trees. Palm trees next. Okay. Right, palm trees. Okay, now what colours did I pick for the palm trees? Because I did, look, I did have a play and I looked and I thought, yeah, what you want is not one solid colour. Because when you look at palm trees, some of the leaves are a bit dead and a bit brown and others are fresh and green and then the light hits them and the shadows. So I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a, a mix like this and we're just going to do like layers. So I, I, I've got an idea of how to do it quickly and efficiently, you know, to get that effect. 
and then um yeah i like this i like this this particular sort of color don't you and it's not when you get up close it's not great i'll show you but it's the overall impression is great look if you come on really close this is only my copper paper one copper paper one can you see see how close i can get to show you it's all lines and bits and pieces yeah but the overall when you come away is quite good yeah so what we'll do is we'll use these colors Right, are you ready? So we've got my favourite, warm grey number two, right? Then I've got that ochre. These were the two that I said will make you that. Um, they were what we were using here in the, do you remember in the bamboo? We used those three and I said, oh, dress, what a dress that would make. Right, so we want those two. We'll use the dark one as well down the road. And then I'm going to use uh, leaf green, one, one, two, and and then I've got that Wacholder Grün, uh, Juniper Green, 165. So if you look at the colours, they're quite um, sort of, I'm not going to say dirty, because they're not dirty colours, but they're muted, aren't they? They're not vibrant. They'd be in the, in the, they wouldn't be in the summer box, they'd be in the autumn box. Do you know what I mean? Look at the length of that one. Uh, <laughs> this is the second one I've got. Um, that was what I was going to tell you. Right, let's start with the ochre, with the ochre. I think it's called, yeah, it is. Dark Naples ochre. Dirty yellow. Right, dirty yellow. And what we'll do is we'll put a dirty yellow, uh, sorry, a lovely ochre, all the, just a real faint layer of ochre on the first, let's say the first four. Let's just do the first four to the top. And then we can we can have a little bit of an experiment and you can see for yourselves how it changes if you put the the yellow down first or if you put the green down first. Let's have a little experiment so you see it. Yeah. What if I come to that camera? Is that does that help? No, you probably prefer it from the top, wouldn't you? I would have said I think I would if I were you. Yeah, otherwise you're just wondering. You're looking at it upside down, aren't you? So you do that one. Let's do this one as well. Let's do the, the first three layers of that with a really light whisper of yellow, yeah? There you go. Not too heavy. I'll tell you what, while you're there, just go like that over their skirts. Just put a little bit of yellow down on undercoat, on their skirts. There you go. Nice. That'll work. Okay, so we've got a bit of yellow there. In fact, anything strawy or grassy, put a little bit of yellow on the roof as well. Come on. Make you feel like you're getting somewhere. <laughs> Yesterday, after all that waffle, I looked back and I thought, well, it did the bam. There you go. Okay, got a bit of yellow down there, a bit of yellow there. Right, now I feel we're actually doing something. <laughs> now, the next colour I want to use on top of that, let's go for the leaf green. Let's go for the leaf green. And again, softly, softly, softly. So I just want to get a, a chisel going. That means it's a lot easier then to get a soft layer. Right, you ready? Now, where's that thing that I always lean on, my groovy guard? Okay, groovy guard. Right, so now, do the top layers without, just softly, softly, with the leaf green, but without yellow underneath. And let's have a look. I think it'd be good for you to see the difference. Rather than just follow me, like Simon says, have a look at the difference. If we do, now we've done green, one half, right? We'll do the same on this side as well with the flat of the pencil so it's really soft because leaf green is a little bit vibrant if you press hard. 
look, it's really green. Isn't it? So we just want to put down an undercoat. There you go. See, the thing about these pencils and the pergoliners as well, the blends that you can get. Look, when you look at where I, where I, where you, where we're going to end up, versus where we're at at the moment, we're only using the same colours. It's brilliant, really. So let's let's have a look now. So you've got a, a green there, and you've got yellow at the bottom. Now take the green and go over the yellow. Go over the yellow and check out the difference. Just do exactly what you've just done without the yellow and check out the difference in the tone. If you put an undercoat of yellow down, look how different it is. So that's a green that you haven't got in that tin. You haven't got this green. You've just created your own blend. See? Right, so it's a, it's a different green, isn't it? I mean, you can see it much better where you are than where I am. Yeah, so now you've got that. Now take the yellow, though. Actually, stick with the green for a minute. Stick with the green. And let's, let's have a look for a minute. Right, so we're going to stick with that leaf green. And we're just going to add, with the chisel end, but turn it round. Get into the tips, you know the, get into these tips, not into all of them, just into a few, random. We're going to do some yellow tips as well in a minute. Let's get the different colours going. Right, there you go. And as it gets to the top of the tree, we'll make it a little darker. Let's get a bit darker. Yeah. There you are. Mmm. Okay, now go back to your yellow again, okay, and go, now go in over the, this is interesting, now go in over the, um, over the green with the yellow, just come back and see the difference when you put one over the top of the other one. Now this is, this is going to be a very different colour to the, bo to, to the green down at the bottom, just by flipping Putting the the green down first and then the yellow it changes it. You look. So so you, what I'm saying is there's no wrong way to do it. You could do whatever you like. If you think, oh, I wanted that lovely muted yellowy green, we'll just put the yellow down afterwards. It looks a little bit different. It's it's almost as if the yellow goes in the areas that you didn't catch before so it's 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 got, it's got yeah it's it's nice actually right then take your so you see the difference when you when you start building and now what we're going to do is take our dark color and we're going to start adding some shade so now look at your look at your leaves and what we want to do now is start flicking so here inside here we're going to take that juniper the darker green and we'll start adding some shadow. See, because these down here, flick, 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 flick. See, these, these palm fronds, they're behind, aren't they? They're on the other side, if you like. I mean, this is just a... It's just our idea, isn't it? It's our interpretation. You know, if there are any palm tree experts in the building. I'm sure they've got plenty to say about the state of our palm trees. <laughs> hmm. Right, here we go. So we'll add a little bit of shadow. And what you're going to do is just jump between the colours. Just jump. Look how pretty it's starting to look. You see? You build. And then you think, right, now, light and shade. If that's the sun, it's going to be darker over this side, I think. So I would probably make this particular leaf here, this one, darker. See, because these ones are on, on this side of the, these will be lighter, these will be darker, you know? There you go, add a bit of dark green. 
And then you just jump between the different colours. Same in this one as well. Again, it's going to be darker on this side, I think. You can't really go that wrong with this if you just bounce between the yellow and the two greens and a little bit of grey and a little bit of shadow. You just, look, you just jiggle around. There you are. I mean, I spent quite a while doing it, jiggling around, you know, colouring in my tree. But it's, it's a very uh, enjoyable process, I have to say. There you go. So this one's a bit lighter. Take that one. Just use any greens. It, it, it really isn't a, it's not a recipe. It's your tree. You decide. Looking good though, huh? So that's about it really on the tree. I mean, what I did do, let me show you what I did do. And I, I yeah, but I want to, I want to get all the colour down first, let's say. So we've got a good, got a goodly amount of colour there. And then the, the actual tree trunk, I just used my favourite one again. Right, I said I've got some good news. Got some good news. This morning, at stupid o'clock, while I was catching up, I was thinking, because that's what you do when you're doing this stuff, isn't it? And I was thinking about the fact that a lot of you have got... You've got the pergoliners, but you haven't got the polychromos, right? I'm just about to dive into one of my... going to take one of my nibs again. Here we go. See, I've got a green up that end, but oh, look, I've got a brand new one there. Um, bingo. Oh, Barbara. Yeah, what a difference. There you go. Right. Um, yeah, a lot of you have got the poly pergoliners, and they're excellent, but, and I know it myself, and we've tried to do something about it, but we can't, um, they're missing, they're missing all the really good, the greys and the, isn't it? In the pergoliners, right? You haven't got that end of the spectrum. The greys, um, the warm greys, the cold greys. You know, the ones that we use for the shadowing. And I always say, well, use an HB pencil, which mm, it works, but it doesn't work like these, right? And we've reached out to the, the manufacturers of the pergoliners and we said, can't we, can't we, can't we? No, no, computer says no. So it's so, like, right, okay. We inherited these, you know. And they're lovely. And in fact, on Sunday, when I do the ODS, I'm going to venture down the, the, the watercolour end, you know, and we're going to do that together as well, aren't we? Because you've got some lovely water-soluble um, pencils in that pergoliner set. So today I thought, I know. I wonder if I can get a hold of these individually. I bet I can, because in the day, you could... Back in the day, you know, I know I knew you could. So made a few phone calls and we've got them coming. So we've got 12 different colours I picked. 12 different colours. So for those of you who've got pergoliners, then all those muted, the, the grey five, cold grey, you know, those lovely uh, cream, ivory, these colours, there is even a couple that aren't in this tin. And I, as I saw them, I thought, I want them because I've looked for those colours and couldn't get them. Uh, one is a, 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 an ivory, so not white and not cream. Mm -mm. And the other one was a lighter blue. And I found when I was doing this, I wished I had a number lighter than that. And now we're going to have it. So even if, if you've got polychromos, you'll know that you'll, you're going to be, chomp if you're like me, you're chomping through the grey end of the, you know, the, what we you look at the, you look at the tin and you think that they're the boring ones, don't you? You know, we look at this lot here and we think that these ones here are the boring ones, but they're not, they're not the boring ones, they're the ones we chomp through. So, so now, rather than have to buy a whole tin again, which would be absurd because you've got, you've got a lifetime of all the bright, lovely colours and the blends, what you use all the time is these grey ones. So we're, we're buying them in. So just give us a week. I hope they've got them in stock. They should have. 
Um, but I think that that will be a solution for lots of you. It certainly will be for me as well, because, um, yeah, the individual colours will be just peach, you know. That, coupled with using the other end of the nibs, that's great too. So you can use the fine end of the nib when you want to get in the real tight areas, when you want to get into these little areas here where you can't get in like that. Nice. Yeah. And then on the bigger areas where it's not so crucial, then you can turn it around and just blend the colours. I tell you what, it works like a charm. Like a charm. There we are. And that side's lighter because that's where the sun is. All right, cool. And when you do, let's have a look. So we've done that now. That's nice, isn't it? Isn't that good? And then you could take your darker color, your, this is definitely on, let's look at the length of this one. Warm gray five. I went for the warm, I went for warm four, warm five, warm three, warm, I've gone for the, the, the grays. But I thought, yeah, well, they're the ones that I keep reaching for. So if I do, you will. Um, yeah, so just give us a little while to get them in and get them loaded onto the website. And then they'll be good to go. There you go. And then the, the warm grey one, you see, this one, the, the dark one, this is the one that we use on our, uh, on our borders as well. On our, on our, when we do our drop shadow, this is the one that we do the drop shadow. So we'll do a little bit of that as well. Right now, the 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 hut, the the roof again. See now, I'm tempted. I wouldn't go green because I don't think they use old. It, they, they dry out. They don't. They they're dead. They're not still living, right? So I put a little bit of yellow down, and then I would start with my warm grey, right? Would add a bit of warm grey, and I tempted to just keep bringing it in. See the lighter colour, just flicking it. Doesn't that look good? right from that that area all the time so you may you may like to flick away from yourself you may think that might work better like so right just flick and what you'll notice is what I'm doing is as well I'm, I'm using quite light colors right so we've used that ochre haven't we look but look how nice it is so I've used the ochre ochre this one dirty yellow and then I've gone in with that beigey color Right, and you flick it down so it looks all grassy. <laughs> like I know what I'm doing. Look, yes, I did. I studied um, grass huts at university. Right, there you go. Okay, and then you've done that, and then we'll go with that darker colour, or you could go with a brown. You know, whatever rock, whatever you've got in front of you, you decide. But I'm going with that grey, and now it's quite sharp though, right? And what I'm going to do now is just start flicking, but it's more specific. See? So now I'm getting more definition. Right, here we go. So you just flick light feathery strokes over the top. Sharper. <laughs> Needs to be sharper, this. Yeah, this is really, and I tell you what, when we get to do the owls, oh, oh yes, okay, right, I've just had an epiphany, definitely, right, when we go to colour in the owls, you know those colours that we were just talking about, that, that, those ones, they're the ones we're going to need to do the owls, so fear not, friends, if you're perga liner owners, I'm hoping, well, I tell you what we're going to do, we're not going to do the owls till they get in, there you are. That's what we're going to do. We're going to hold off on the owls until those colours come in and we can get them to you. Because otherwise, it'd be a shame. Because the owls are definitely... I remember when I, when I coloured them in, that was, I stayed in that end of the pencil set for a week. Look, doesn't that look good? There we are. Nice straw hut. There you go. Build it, build it, build it, can't you? And then, and then you can just, look, this is easy now. What am I doing? Yes. Just 
add a little bit of grey to the the structure. Eh? Looking good. It's looking good, grey. There. Doesn't need to be all colourful, does it? It's those colours again. It's those greys. That's it. Get that colour in there. Get the old shack shack going. You got your shark in? <laughs> I remember. Do you know? Can you stand another story? I've got one. I've got one. Let me just put a little bit. There's that shark there. Oh, there you go. He's got a dark fin. He definitely has a dark fin. There we are. Right. Let me tell you a story about the shark. I remembered it yesterday and I thought, how did I not remember this one? Because this was hilarious. Years ago, I went to the Bahamas with a, a girlfriend. She was a British Airway, Airway stewardess, uh, purser. And she said, she asked me if I fancied going to the Bahamas for five days. You know, like first class. Yeah, brilliant. Imagine that, right? And it was all in just... I had to just pretend I was an air, air hostess. <laughs> that wasn't hard. I could do that, but I didn't actually have to do anything. I just had to look like one. And that's, that, I can do that. I can do air stewardess. So we were staying in Nassau and in a really posh hotel. And, and so my friend and I, we, um, she had to do a bit, you know, cause you go, you, she had to work going and coming back I just had to watch videos. But then we had five days down. We had a lot of downtime. You know, what a job, eh? Bit of a long haul, though. Doesn't that look great? You do, you're keeping up with me here? Yeah, of course you are. Right, let's do the sign as well. Not too much colour. Well, see, what we're doing is we're, we're trying to keep the colours all tone in tone. And that will lend itself to a real nice retro look. There we are. Um... So she wanted, Liz wanted to go and do, um, she wanted to f swim with the dolphins, but it was fully booked. So we couldn't swim with the dolphins. So she said, <laughs> she said, we can go feed the sharks instead. I said, well, it's not quite the same, is it really? Right. So feed the dolphins. We could either go swim with the dolphins or feed the sharks. And she said, well, that's our option. <laughs> so I said, all right, then we'll go and feed the sharks then. Let's do that. Why not? Um, why not indeed? So we paid our money. Off we went. Should we put a bit of shadow under here? Because it looks a little bit, doesn't it? It would be darker under there, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be all light like that. That looks weird. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we paid our money, got on the boat, and we went to three locations. The way it works is you get on the boat and then you go, first you go... It's like real mellow and you go and snorkeling, tropical fish and you, you know, you've got your wetsuit on and all that. Remember I said about try not to look like a sea lion or a seal. But anyway, so we had our, we had our, our gear on. You didn't have the bottom part. You had like a black jacket, you know, you had the top part. And then you had your flip flops, you your big, not flip-flops, what are they called? What do you call them? When you're, when you're, <laughs> what are they called? They're not flip-flops. You don't walk around. Flippers. Okay. <laughs> anyway, come on, keep going, Greg, keep going. So we had our we had our flippers, had the snorkel, had the black, had all the gear, looked the part. Right, where should we go next? Hang on, we've done that. Hold on. Let's do the volcano. Should we go to the volcano? Yeah. Jumping around, we're island hopping today, remember? Warm grey is coming our way very soon. Right, so we'll just do an undercoat with the warm grey. So, so we got on the boat 
And on the boat with us, there were obviously, it's a larger party, right? And there was, there was an Indian couple and the lady had a lovely sari on, very bright. So I thought, well, she's obviously not, she's just come along to keep her husband company. She's obviously not going to be snorkelling, is she, with a sari on? So we went to the first place and she she stayed on the boat and we all got in and snorkelled around. Liz wasn't a great swimmer. She wasn't a great swimmer. So we didn't go far from the boat. And um but it was fine. It was lovely, you know, a few fish. It wasn't like it wasn't the Maldives, but it was it was definitely it was lovely, okay. And uh, no sharks there. No sharks. No, the sharks came in, in the third place. So then we went to another place, which was cold. You knew it was it was colder water, so you knew it was getting deeper. <laughs> OK, because the water was definitely colder. So we went to the second place. And we, we snorkeled around there. And the fish were a bit bigger. And they looked a little bit more... Yeah, they weren't, they weren't little pretty angel fish at there. Right, look, that does look like a... Doesn't that look like a... Yeah, nice. Then we went to the third place and this is where we got to feed, we got to feed the sharks. So what they did was, they put this, um, should we stick with the hula girls? Let's do the sand. The sand, believe it or not, is just this colour. Let's just do the whole sand while I'm telling you the story. Right. See, it's not, it's not, is that a bit dirty? Right, forget that colour. That's all right behind there. What about this colour? Is this better? Let's have a look. No, it's not yellow sand, is it? Right, we're going with this one, but really lightly, OK? Go really lightly and then we'll use our nib. Yeah, 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 just go lightly. Go lightly, girls and boys. That's it. So we got to the third place, and this is where we're feeding the sharks. And um, <laughs> so the idea was that they put these cages of food over the side and they dropped it and it went right down, 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 down and it dropped to the bottom, okay, and it had meat in it and what have you, right? I mean, it's a tourist thing, isn't it? And, um, and then it brought the sharks in. And then what we had to do, right, I've got to show you, I can't, I can't describe it. So we're on the boat. And then there's this rope and it goes for, at the back of the boat and this rope goes out and it comes back in again, right? So it's like a shoe, like a horseshoe, but it's a rope. And, and the captain, I think they were just trying to make it more like, ooh, like that. He said, what you got to do is you, you go on along the rope and you, you lower yourself very gently into the water with your flippers, not your flip flops, right? And you've got your black on and you've got your snorkels. <sighs> So you're looking, right, and you're like that. And then you start, and then you go out. There's about, say there's 12 of us. And then you go out, you six that side, you six that side. And then you lower yourself in the water. Then you pull yourself out on the rope. And then when you get to a certain place, gently, gently, don't, don't splash around or make a noise or squeal or scream because you'll attract the sharks, right? Okay. And the, but if you, any disturbance, if the sharks start moving towards the surface, then you start hauling back to the boat. I thought, fair enough. So I said, Liz, remember she's not such a good swimmer. I said, you go first. <laughs> you, you go first. Because one thing that I learned many years ago is if you're getting chased by a lion, right, you don't have to be faster than the lion. You just got to be faster than the person you're with, all right? So I said, Liz, you go out first. So she's gone out. And I've lowered myself in, going along. And then you, you're, in, you're in the water then, all six of us, and they put the food down. And then you look through your snorkel and you can see these sharks coming in for the food. The way, you know the way they never stop moving, do they? And they're circling round and, you know, they're starting to tear at the meat. I mean, it's, you know, I could think of better things to do with my days but there you go this is where we were we paid our money Liz wanted to see the sharks being fed that's what we were doing so we were all in the water like that right six of us up there six of us up there like that all looking at the sharks 
And then, I kid you not, right, because I was up that side and Liz was in front of me. And then out of nowhere, suddenly there was this poof, right? And this Indian woman, the in, there was this flash of color in, in the corral, if you like, or this rope bit. And there was this flash of And this woman, in her, I don't know what crossed her mind, right? She decided she wanted to join in. And she did a bomb, like a dive, like almost like a pike, right? In her bright sari, straight in the water. Right? And then I saw it out the corner of my eye, and it's a big splash. And then the sharks, they were like that. Because then, of course, you know, there we are, all like that. And then she's just come flying in, in a bright, colourful sari. And then the guy's like, right, all out of the water, all out. So we're all, <laughs> good job I left. I've never been up and out of the water and onto a boat so fast in my life. And this silly woman in her sari, talk about, talk about cancel the trip, yeah. And these sharks, they were up at the surface so fast. Honestly, we just got out and they were pulling her out in her sari and her old man was having a go at her in Punjabi, I think. Yeah, it, it, I mean, after the fact, it was funny. But at the time, I couldn't believe it. And what was she thinking? She decided she wanted to join in. It's a bit of yellow down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. I absolutely did not see that coming. I don't think anybody did. Right, doesn't that look good? So now you know how to do the, the sand. So you could do the sand in that one and the sand in that one as well, couldn't you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is great. Now, I think aloha, we could leave that till tomorrow because that's quite a... Let's do aloha tomorrow. And what I want to show you is just the... Can I show you the, the patterns? This is, let's have a look at the patterns because we did the green one, didn't we? And then I want to show you what I've done along here. Now, whether or not you've gone black, because I know at the beginning I said, let's go black and now I've changed my mind because I thought this would be a great opportunity for, um, for doing shading, right? Like weave. So I'm going to take my, my trusty warm gray two and I'll pop this in there like so, like that. So you do that color, then you take the darker one and you put a shadow there, there, there. So it builds up, see underneath? Look, it's ever so easy. And then you decide whether you want shadow on top as well. You might want to put a little whisper of a shadow in there as well. But it looks really good. Let me show you in an area that I've already done so you can see. Let's have a look if you can see that bit. See it? See the shadow on that one? And you could do the third one as well, the one with the waves, because it's exactly the same. All I did on this one, right, so there's a bit that I haven't done. Right here, for example. Right, I've taken, again, it's these two colours all the way around the outside only because there's so much colour on the inside I wanted to keep it vintagey. So I take that one and I'm going to, instead of going in the wave area, I'll keep that white, I'm going to go in the striped area and tone that down. See? So all I'm doing is going in with that grey, that, that beigey colour. There you go. Have you enjoyed today? I think it's been really chilled today. We've done loads, haven't we? There you go. Like that. How's your diet going? Are you on a diet? I'm on a diet. How's my diet going? Not bad. Not bad. Fruit today. Fruit, 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 fruit. I'm going to eat fruit all day. There, you see? And then you put the dark one down there like that. So you just... Just on that long slope, and you'll see when you do that, try not to go into the white area, but see here, for example, 
I'm going to come down here. Just get comfortable and get a chisel going. Chisel's cool for this. Right. And then you're just going to come on this area here. So you're just going to bring that shade in on that side. Like so. And it will look really great when it's done. Three dimensional look. Just on that area there. Just on that side. Yeah, like that. Cool. Now, don't forget at 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock today, we're on uh, Hochanda, uh, Hochanda TV, and we're it's the Pergamano show for all you parchers out there. And um, Paul will be showcasing some beautiful parchlet plates from Tina. So if you're if you're wondering what that's all about, that might be an opportunity to go and have a look, investigate. And it's hochanda.com. And it starts at 11 o'clock today. 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock are the two shows, I think, if I'm not mistaken. There we are. And so, so this is going to be delightful when it's done, isn't it? So, so what we could do now, let's have a look. It's already 11 o'clock. Can you believe it? So do us a favour and do the sand and when you when you've done the sand you can leave it gritty or you can smooth it out a little bit and use the the you know what i said about using the do you know it did not smooth it out lovely it's crazy how effective this is um you can use the the other end you know the the the, the reverse end and then do the sand do the sand tomorrow we'll do that lovely sun and then we'll do aloha and then we'll do the drop shadows. So we'll do the drop shadows underneath the photos because that will make it really jump. And we'll just put the shadows in underneath the leaves and and just just kind of tone it all down and finish it off. And we'll do our aloha together. Pick a color. You decide what color you want to go with. I'm going to use red only because it's like the, the balance thing. So we've got red there going to do red in their lays, red, red, red. It's just a balance. I think it'll be nice. Triangle, see? Um, and it may be, you know, and I'm going to experiment before I, before I say, yeah, let's do it. I may just take a red and run a red line. You know all those white gussets that we did? You know the white little borders that we did? It might look really beautiful with a red line, but let me, let me try it out first before tomorrow and if it looks good then you can look at mine first before you decide because that would be that would be criminal wouldn't it after two weeks of this no because because barbie said <laughs> i don't want that responsibility so i'll do it you have a look and then you decide whether you want to do it or not okay um i think that will do for today i think it will don't forget to join Paul at 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock on Hochanda. I'm going to get ready for the Sunday TV shows now. Big TV weekend for us. It's just a big TV week, actually. Um, but we're bringing this to a halt because tomorrow we definitely need to come back from Hawaii, don't we? So I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And, uh, yeah, catch up. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock and, uh, and we'll finish this up. Lots of love to you. Stay safe. Bye-bye now. And thanks, Steve.